Detective Derek Ford of Silver Spring County Police Department. I heard there was a break in. Come in. Come in. Sorry, I don't like sitting with that thing. All right, tell me what happened. I, um, uh, I came home from work last night and everything was wrecked like this. I didn't do anything to anybody. Look, look at this. I mean, it looks like they broke stuff for the hell of it. Why would they destroy everything? On top of stealing everything. All right, calm down. I, I saw that you have security signs out front. Is there any footage from the break-ins that happened last night? No, sir. So you don't have security cameras? No. We never needed it, and everything's been fine. You are aware of all the break-ins that happened around here? No. What am I going to do? I can't believe that you would think th that fake signs would help to tear uh, thieves. Well, we have that. I, uh, we never could afford the real thing and I thought it would scare people off. God damn it! Now this is why they call you the best carry around, my friend. You know, I wish you would have come around a long time ago, Terry. I could have at least paid you enough to quit that dead-end job you had. Man, what are you doing? That's nasty. Being a busboy is not a dead-end job. You're telling me you like cleaning up other people's shit? You're a freak. Sure. That's yeah. Freak. Whatever, man. That damn kid never listens to me. Never. Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? Nah, you know. Just at work with... Dick. Yeah, dude, you make that joke every fucking time. Dick is a dick, ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I'll probably be off, like, later tonight. Hey, Terry, I need my 60LW. Hey, boy, where's my lob wet? Oh, my God, I gotta go. Ooh, just under five inches. What, what are you laughing about? Nothing, man. All right, shut up. Don't play dumb with me, man. I know it's my name. It's unfortunate. Let it go. Yeah, like you've ever listened to when I asked you to stop fucking talking shit about me. I don't have to listen to you. I'm your boss. You listen to me. Make me look like a fucking idiot. You are man. a fucking idiot. That's why I treat you like a fucking idiot. Alright, boy. Alright, ball boy, let's go get a bite to eat. Come on, buddy. Here, take this. Hey, Grayson. We're new, cool. Check out all this cool new stuff we just got. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Oh, my bad. You know how to say that again. It's cool. Just be careful next time. Did you finally get enough sleep? Not 
even close with all this Derek mess going on. I didn't want to admit it to you, but it has me pretty worried. Exactly. Want to go talk to him about it? No, uh, I don't know. Do we have to right now? And he's always worse in the morning. I know it can be annoying, but you know what'll happen if we don't deal with this soon. Yeah, I know. So we should go talk to him about the case. Yeah, play cool. Hey Derek, what have you been working on? What do you think? Uh, does it have anything to do with those thefts? Obviously. You gotta stop it with that, man. You've been wasting too much time on that case and it's led nowhere. Yeah, really. Do you still think it's that uh, rich golfer guy? Now, why would he ruin everything he's built just for some money? Why do you guys care? This isn't your case. You just gotta stop. You're pissing everyone off, even the chief. We're just trying to help you, man. You're trying to help me? You guys hate me. Everybody in here probably hates me. I don't know why everybody hates me. Do you guys know something I don't? We, uh, uh, we were just asking what you were doing. Jeez, you really are a grouchy bitch. Hey, Chief, can we talk to you? Sure. What is it? It's Derek again. I told you guys to leave him alone. We know what we're doing, he doesn't. He's going to ruin everything, though. We're not talking about this here. Get out of my office. But, sir! Get out of my office! Why are you calling me Pizza Hut? Cut the act. No one is here. What's going on? One of my guys is getting way too deep with a lot of things around here, including my officers and you. He's suspicious of everything. In fact, he just left, and I think he's heading your way. You didn't tell him anything, did you? Did any of your men spill? Because if any of them did, I have no hesitation cutting you off. No, no, no. Don't, don't worry about that. I'm just worried about what he might do. Hey, I can handle myself, all right? I'm a grown-ass man. I have a crazy amount of money. Yeah, um, I wonder about that. Hey, don't you worry about that. I got the best boys working for me. And don't you ever call me. I call you. Ah, looks like we got a visitor. Ball boy. Can I ask why you're interrupting my practice, sir? I'm Detective Derek Ford, Silver Spring County Police Department. I want to ask you some questions. Yeah, could I get a double hamburger, large fries, and uh, <laughs> a large Dr. Pepper? Listen, I'm not in the mood for games right now. Can we just go someplace to talk real quick? Yo, Terry, can you talk to this guy? Don't fuck with me right now, dick. I'll detain your ass and take you in right now. All right, listen, Mr. Detective, man. I got every one of your boys paid off, so what are you gonna do? Take me down to the station? No. Now get in the car for our full shooting. Okay, I got dinner reservations though, so I better be back soon. And Terry, watch my office while I'm gone. I don't want anybody snooping around, all right? Yo, ball boy, you got that? Yes, Jesus Christ. Here, take my keys.
put the wrong thing in the GPS? Uh, this ain't the way to the police station, man. I'm not going to the station. Then what are you gonna do? Kill me? Dump me in a river? My uh, pig? Huh? You know I'm a detective, right? I'm not an officer. So call me a pig doesn't mean shit to me. I don't give a goddamn. We're here. Get out. I swear to God, if you make me miss my dinner reservations. Just shut up already. The will of Dick Terrence Frascone, you fucking snotball. Come on, man. How long are you gonna be asking me these stupid questions? Is there a reason you haven't started your family yet? My own choice. So you don't have anybody to take over the family line? I have a guy like that. He just needs to be disciplined a little bit more, but he's gonna get there. So it's like the son you never had. I never said I didn't have a son. He's the son I wish I had. It's an interrogation. Keep you on your phone in an interrogation. Where are you? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm talking to Mr. Know It All here. He's probably going to take me down to the station. That's damn right! Whatever. Can we get back to this now? How'd you get your fortune? I have my ways. I've been reading up on your family, and I know your parents weren't wealthy people. So I know you didn't get your money from your parents. And about 10 years ago, you bought the country club. And you didn't have a good enough job for that. But in those 10 years, the amount of thefts that happened in this town have been skyrocketing. How do you feel about that? That's it. Get up and put your hands behind your back. If you think there's enough to arrest me, you're out of your mind. I don't even care anymore. You've been a prime suspect for me for years. You're the wealthiest man in town. You have the power to organize all this. It's your funeral. Is that a threat? No. Come on, get out. Let's make this quick and easy.
that. It's the man in the hour. We love getting innocent people killed. Hello, Derek. Hey, Chief. So, I heard about what happened last night. Yeah, I know. It, it was crazy. The maniac came out of nowhere. I, I, I didn't even... I couldn't even tell who it was. Derek, just be real with me. You killed him, didn't you? Do you think this is some kind of joke? Why would I kill him? I'm trying to find the guy who did kill him. You know me for years. You know I wouldn't just kill somebody. Yeah, but I know about the pent-up anger you have concerning this case. Plus, you have a gun on you. Do you really think I'm like any of the other guys in this place? They're all being paid off by Dick Frascone to, to, to cover the case. If I didn't know any better, you were probably getting money from them too. You are, are you? Why? Listen, Derek, I like you, so I'm going to make this easy. You're fired. What? Look, I, I'm just doing this to help. I may not be a perfect police chief, but these cops out here, they're, they're worse. There's no telling what they'll do to you. I can't fire my entire police squad. So I'm doing you a favor. You're doing me a favor? You think you're gonna help me by firing me? Listen, Derek. I'm not gonna stop you from doing anything, but I'm not gonna help you either. Okay. I don't even need your fucking help. You can't take those. There's no telling what they'll do to you. You're fired. Yo, Terry, can you talk to this guy? We love getting innocent people killed. Mr. Fresco? Well, I wasn't aware he had any meetings today. I didn't even know he was here, actually. Oh, yeah, he's here. He uh, told me to come down and see him. Uh, uh, I promise you, I'll, I'll tell him to come down and see no, him. No, it's okay. I'll just call his office phone when you get up there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hello, Silver Spring Country Club. How can I help you? Yes, hello, this is the chief of police. Did a man with uh, dark hair, leather jacket, come into the country club any time recently? Yes, actually, I just had someone like that come in. Why, is there some sort of problem? No, thank you.
hell is Terry? Ah, whatever. What's up, sir? Guess who's at the country club right now, just after I fired him? You're kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? Well, we have to go get him before he does anything else stupid. Look, I know you like Derek, sir, but we cannot let him fuck this up anymore. So, if you're not coming with us, we're gonna go get him ourselves. Go. Go. What are you doing in here? I'm Detective Derek Ford. Well, I was a detective. Get out! No. Investigating the death, or should I say murder, of Dick Frascone. You have no right to be in here. Get out. Aren't you like his caddy or something? I said get out. No. You're the one who killed Dick Frascone for the money. He would have gotten the money. So why'd you do it? It was never about the money. He never showed me any respect in making me his heir, and his will was his last sick joke. And in his will? He said I was like a son to him? What kind of bullshit is that? Done. I have you now. You're going to jail. Taking this kind of personal, aren't you? You know, if you kill me, you're gonna be just like all those other dirty cops. You kill my biggest suspect that I've been hunting down for years. Now I'll never be able to prove it was him. Why to go so far, Derek? Huh? Well, like I said, I can't help you. So whatever they decide to charge you with, it's on you, not me. Sorry, Derek. It was Dick. The whole time, everything. I'm not afraid to say you was right, but I'm just afraid of who I've been. And I'll make up for it. 
I'll make up for it while you're gone. We got someone out of jail. We can do it again. 